I would definitely be the one person that dies. I would like to know what my dog thinks. <laughs> I hate dinner parties and I get too shy to talk to anyone, so I don't have a, I don't have a good answer to it, but... No, well, we're not thinking... inviting you then. I yeah. think you're so good at... You're the best person to sit next to. Exactly. I was thinking it would be the Dormouse in Alice in Wonderland, because then... Ooh. They'd just be asleep and you wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they were enjoying themselves. <laughs> lived in the country. Do put that dormouse away, Linda. <laughs> it's so mean to ask us about dinner parties. I haven't been to a dinner party in 1500 years. <laughs> <laughs> Literally anybody, anybody I would have a dinner party with. That's one of the things you kind of do get to do when you are acting, is like live in different times. Wouldn't mind hanging out in that jazz bar with Fabrice. Exactly. Fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too embarrassed about the answers that I, <laughs> I'm actually doing. What were your answers? <laughs> <laughs> Caveman times would be kind of... Caveman times? <laughs> that would be kind of like... Well, it's different, isn't it, guys? I mean... Yeah. Caveman times would be amazing. The fashion, the onesies, one-strap fur onesies, bone accessories. Yeah. But obviously, practically, yeah, the reality of it, probably not. Bungee jumping, I just don't... I don't... No. I can imagine what it's like in my head already, and it's just hot. I can, I can know it's horrible. <laughs> and I would definitely be the one person that dies. Like, definitely yeah. would go wrong. It, you know, I'd be the person that when they bungee jump, the crocodile eats your head as it just dips in the water. It's nothing would happen. Emily accidentally answered that with the dormouse. <laughs> the dormouse for sure. I love dormice. And I'd let the dormouse lead the conversation. Mm. <laughs> I, he could just tell me whatever he wanted to tell me. <laughs> I would like to know what my dog thinks. Yeah. Like there's some things. I mean, I know that I've got a vested interest in that. It's not very, <laughs> I'm not really thinking very big. But I, I do really want to know if my dog, dog loves me. Who would you say, do you love me? Would that be the question? <laughs> That's sort of like any thoughts or... I, I would hope that he would sort of want to say it now that he's had the opportunity. He'd offer it up. He'd offer it up. Yeah. Love anybody or what you thinking? I don't know. <laughs>